Have you ever wanted a nice, thick smoothie, but you just didn't have the time or energy to make one? Who wants to clean blenders and have frozen fruit on hand? Ugh. <laughs> if only there was a faster and easier way to make your fruit juice thick. So today we're gonna to be using this really cool product. It's made for people who have trouble swallowing liquids. I think it's great. We're not gonna use it for medical reasons today. We just wanna know what it's like drinking thick juice. Is it like a smoothie? We're gonna be trying it with progressively thicker juices already. Cranberry juice, which is just... Pretty thin, pretty transparent. Yeah. Orange juice. A little bit thicker. Has some pulp and stuff. And then... A green machine juice. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a pretty, pretty thick. thick juice already. So what happens when we thick and thick juice? I think we should start with the cranberry. I think so too. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. There are specific measurements and ratios you need to, to do. We're gonna do four ounces of liquid each. Are you just, you're not pouring in the in the cup that I've already made a little mark on. You're no, just, I just are you pour, thirsty? I just wanna pour some cranberry juice and taste it before. This is the consistency. It's very watery and liquidy. It, it is juice, yeah. It is juice. And the flavor is so strong. <laughs> now, do we want to aim for mildly thick nectar consistency, moderately thick honey, or extremely thick pudding? Oh, we're definitely not doing the lightest. Okay, medium. I, I was thinking maybe like a nice solid medium. We can always add more if we want it. Look at this. There's a cranberry right here. Four and a half to five and a half teaspoons. Okay. All right. I like how you brought forks to stir. Do you want a spoon? Yeah. It says fork. It says in the instructions. Oh, really? Looks grainy. What says? Stir briskly until thickener has dissolved. Oh yeah. Maybe you need to be brisker. I'll just, I'll just keep on going for a bit. <laughs> We stir it and let it sit for a minute. As per the instructions. And it should be thicker now. Uh, it does look a little thick. Either it didn't all dissolve or we need to make it thicker. I don't know if I would call that uh, honey. That's not honey. I mean, it's, it's thicker, but it's not honey at all. Do you want to give it more time or you want to add more? Let's add more. <laughs> okay, we'll go up to the next level. Pudding. For pudding, it requires two tables, two tablespoons in total. Okay, so we did, you already taste tested it. Not really. Just, you just I tasted it. I didn't realize it. what I did. All right, now you need to take a tiny sip too. It's not bad. It's not bad. Are we just making jello? It kind of reminds me of applesauce. Yeah, it does. It's very much like applesauce. But I think we need to make it thicker. One more teaspoon? That's not much. What if we did two more? Sure. Okay, we're officially over the max suggested. This better be pudding thick. It better be pudding thick. Oh shoot, okay, now it looks, it looks like, you know the flavored applesauces, like strawberry applesauce? Let's do a comparison. There's a jiggle test. Yeah, big difference in the jiggle test. Now the pour test, you're not gonna, this is, this is a carpeted room. <laughs> mm. Is it even more applesaucey? Near indistinguishable. From applesauce? Yeah. I don't hate it. It's like a really tart applesauce. Really tart applesauce, right? I don't hate it. So not like a smoothie though. We do have thicker juices. Maybe if we try a thicker juice, it will be more like a smoothie. Okay, as 
we are apparently doing, we're going to do a taste test of regular orange juice. <laughs> Just to refresh our palates, y'all, you know? Yeah, it'll be good to have a refresher on the thickness of this specific orange juice. It's a more opaque substance, but it's still super liquidy and watery. Man, if you've gone a while without drinking juices like straight up, you kind of forget just how sweet they are. Yeah, it's like candy. Wow. My teeth don't like it. I feel like my teeth are hurting. <laughs> They're like not hurting, but like they feel unhappy. <laughs> we'll pour one for the thicket. One, one two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's give this a little mm -hmm. stir in there. All right, it's been a few minutes and that's looking thick. I can lift it with a fork. That's the test. <laughs> can you can you eat the beverage with a fork? If so, it's thick. <laughs> Do you want a spoon? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one. I don't need one with how thick I got. Hmm. Hmm. It just tastes like applesauce. Orange juice pulp. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Our brains are already auto completing. Auto completing. Like if you have thickness so like, in orange juice, it's pulp. It's like very soft, tasty orange juice pulp. Do you like it better than pulp? I like the feeling better than pulpy orange juice because I'm usually not a pulpy guy. Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> Don't think about it. Just eat it. Just put it in your mouth. Mmm. <laughs> right? This is worse than the cranberry. <laughs> what? Come on. You don't like you don't like orange juice pulp? This is worse. I also think the flavor of cranberry juice is so strong yeah. that we could dilute it and it still tasted like juice. With this being diluted, it's like orange juice mixed with flavorless. <laughs> Sludge. So this one weirds me out a little bit more. I'm not gonna go in for a second bite. I'll, I'll have a third. Okay. Which one do you like better? Do you like this better? You're not answering. I just uncovered like a childhood memory. While I was watching this fall, mm -hmm. I flashed back to when I was like eight. Okay. And I was at my grandmother's house and I had an odd habit of finding the concentrated frozen orange juice. Oh, in the freezer? In the freezer. And then just, and that's what this makes me think of, honestly. Interesting. It makes me think of childhood. Aww. <laughs> you can have Instead that one. Eating orange juice, you know, <laughs> from a spoon. But when you were a child, did you ever eat it with a fork? No. Upgrades. Upgrades. Well, we've had- I rank this higher than this. <gasps> Blasphemy. And I rank this higher than this. You would drink thick orange juice more than regular orange juice? Well, what I'd, if I was being honest about it, I'd like put ice cubes in here, cool it really cold, and then pretend that I'm eating the concentrate again. Do you want some ice cubes? No, 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 that'll, be, that'll mess with the test. Okay, I, okay. I don't throw okay. it off. True, true, true. Don't okay, science. Off. This is such a good it's idea. It's such a thick idea. How is this idea so, so good? so thick. Sir, ma'am, you're gonna have to come with us. We see you've cracked the code and you're trying to escape the matrix. You wanna sell this thick idea. But how will you sell it? Are we in a Squarespace ad? With today's sponsor, Squarespace, the all-in-one solution for all your website needs. I knew it. You have to create a website like this using Squarespace to sell your idea. You can try out all the templates and see how they'll look on tablet and mobile. You can edit every aspect of your website's look with their Fluid Engine. If that's not enough, Squarespace has tons of extensions that make your job easier. Like Aftership, an extension that helps you with tracking and insights. You can even sell in person and use Squarespace to track your orders, inventory, and customer data. We've been sponsored by Squarespace for years. We even have a discount link. You've known about Squarespace? 
Yeah, just go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com slash ek2 for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. These guys are professionals. Send us back. So do you wanna go make more thick stuff? Yeah, let's go. Well, shall we move on to an even thicker juice? <laughs> yeah. This is the Naked Juice Green Machine. It's a combination of apple juice, mango, pineapple juice, banana puree, kiwi puree. Broccoli. <laughs> grass. Alfalfa. Grass. Spinach. Gin more grass. Ginger, parsley, kale. And odorless garlic. Hold on. Odorless. That's not garlic, you're just like eating a water chestnut if you think you're eating odorless garlic. How do you make odorless garlic? What is odorless Oh, it's like a wellness garlic. thing. Take fresh garlic bulbs, dip them into an acidic solution. They are soaked for three days, then dried. The acids destroy the enzymes that cause garlic breath. They do not affect the taste or smell when garlic is cooked or eaten. I don't know if I believe that. <clears throat> so odorless garlic doesn't mean that the garlic doesn't have odor. It's that it's supposed to reduce the amount of garlic breath you have. I don't believe that. I think it's <laughs> blasphemous. <laughs> well, we, the two of us, eat so much garlic. And people are like, oh, you must really love your wife who's eating that much garlic. And you I'm must like, really love your wife who stinks. <laughs> and I'm like, one, I'm eating the same amount of garlic. Two, I don't smell garlic breath anymore, <laughs> which might be a problem for me too. <laughs> this is sounding really bad. This is sounding like we're just really stinky people. Uh, how would we know? I don't know. Because <laughs> our families also eat a lot of yeah. garlic. All right, it says shake well. Oh, that's thick. That seemed thicker. It's it's uh, thicker. It thinned some. It's thicker, but like that's still pretty. It's still pretty liquid. Still pretty liquid. Let's give it a, let's give it a swig. It's twice as thick as the others. Oh, interesting. Mm. That is definitely thicker. How much do we add? We have to add the same amount. <laughs> we have to keep it consistent. This one's gonna get thick. I also will say that this one is the least overwhelmingly sweet, which means it might get grosser because then I'll just think about like the powder, which doesn't really have a flavor, it but like- It doesn't have a flavor. I don't know, it kind of weirded me out on the orange juice and it weirded me out in the coffee. <laughs> you know? Maybe thick it just isn't for you, baby. Instrument of thickening. Oh geez, it's sitting on top. Oh geez, this is mixing in very different than the others. <laughs> what have we made? I don't know, man. A delicious smoothie, perhaps. A healthy green smoothie. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, and the color makes it even. Oh, baby. <laughs> wow. Who's ready for dinner? <laughs> it looks like baby food. Oh. Like, I don't mind a green juice. I think some green juices are, are good. This one tastes good, but like, the color combined with the texture is not a vibe. Mmm, choo choo train. Choo choo this train for the big boy. So thick. It's so thick. It's very thick. It just tastes like good applesauce again. Okay. It's a whole snack, baby. I, I didn't mind it. I got like a weird aftertaste <laughs> at the end. The apple hits me first. Yep. But then the other kind of like, like subtle veggie-ish <laughs> flavors hit me. And those being in a thick goo kind of weirded me out. It's not as bad as I feared. But I do have to say, I do, I, when I went to the store, I picked up an additional juice. Oh no. That I was curious about. What did you get? First, let me just get out um, my prepared glasses. Here you go. Here's the other glass. One of these should have a mark on it. And you're storing these in our cat kiss, which is completely sanitary? Only the outside of the cup <laughs> touched the cat kiss. Okay, I have one more juice. And this was in the juice aisle, so it counts. No. Spicy V8. No. It's juice. Wait, you can try this one. <laughs> no, you're gonna try it too. 
Spicy hot, 100% vegetable juice. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I didn't say you were gonna like it. I said you were gonna try it. <laughs> have you ever drank this? I have. I think I might have tried it once, just cause like someone was having it and I tried, tried a sip and I did not like it. Mmm, mm. tomato soup. If I just pretend that it's tomato soup, then I think I might like it more. I'm just drinking tomato soup. Yeah, it's mm. gazpacho, it's cold soup. Honestly, not bad. My palate has widened and diversified oh. since I was 12. So mature. <laughs> Let me try it. It's been a long time since I've had a Bloody Mary or anything too. It's actually really not bad at all. Yeah, it's kind of fun, kind of yeah. spicy. Yeah, it kind of feels like you're having a snack instead of a drink. Like you need a drink after this drink. You know, I wanna, I'm gonna try it one more time. What if I found your favorite new drink? It's not. <laughs> but you might have found a snack. Dip some chips in that? Well, once we thicken it, it might make an okay dip. Okay, we'll try it after we thicken it. Oh, we should try it. Okay, we turn, we add ice cubes to all of these, turn them into smoothies, and we add chips to this <laughs> and dip them. Yeah, we'll do, that'll be phase two. Okay. Wow, they really do give you a hearty amount of this. You know, one, one, one box of this thicket, you can make a lot of thick things. Think of all the videos we could do. <clears throat> There's so many thick things I wanna make and I will not be kind. Don't, just, this is good. <laughs> Why does my wife like curse things Why so are much? you stirring it like that? <laughs> <laughs> to delay it. <laughs> It's already. It's oh, it looks like tomato paste. It's already so thick. That looks like a like a pasta sauce. We make a pasta sauce. Should I cook some noodles? What if we? What if we just? Cook? I'll cut some pasta real quick. What if we just cooked some noodles? What if? What if we did like? What if we cooked some noodles and we saw? Is this better to drink? to have on chips or to have on noodles. I think we should test that. That's part of the phase two test. All right. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to wait for this. You can just try it, it's, it's thick. I thought we could cook the noodles real quick. <laughs> Let me just get my fork and try this pasta sauce. Yeah, it's pasta sauce. It's much more pasta sauce than it is salsa or anything to have on a chip. I could see that. You brought this upon yourself. You can't even grimace. You you can't even grimace. Okay, okay, I won't. <laughs> you better enjoy this because you did this to yourself. Oh, I will. I'm so excited. Look at this pasta sauce. <laughs> it's so good. I'm trying to hold the camera steady because I'm laughing so hard. It's so good. Okay, now honestly. It's terrible. <laughs> this is definitely the worst. It's really weird. The texture does not work. It's gross. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it could be okay with noodles. All right, let's see if we can spruce these up some. Mm. Let's start with the fruit juices. I'm gonna add some ice to each. I think the ice is just... <laughs> oh, geez. Do you think the ice is just gonna sit on top? I don't know. You're cross-contaminating. <laughs> it's, it's really just... It's really just sitting on top. Wait, I can push it in. Okay. Would you have to push your eyes into your drink? It's something. I think it's gotten worse. It just feels like drinking apple, jo apple juice through a straw, yeah, if yeah. I'm being honest. The cold makes it slightly better. This one to me, for some reason, tastes more like a smoothie. It's better cold. 
I don't really know what I expected. It's a little better cold. This is really hard to get through the straw. <laughs> They're all a little better cold. The thing is, <clears throat> similar to a smoothie, after you consume this food. You didn't know whether to say drink or chew, huh? Yeah. It's almost dinner time. It's 5.20 and I don't know if I'm gonna be hungry. These being so thick, it like tricks your stomach into thinking that you're full. Yeah. Kind of like a smoothie does. Well, shall I move on to the final? Oh, hey baby, I'm ready, ready for you to try those. <laughs> I'm gonna try dipping chips first. Mm, like salsa, it looks just like salsa. No. <laughs> it's just a waste of chip. Mm. It's bad, right? It's still bad. But, you know, the option for the V8 that we were more optimistic for was the pasta sauce, because mm. it's really more like pasta sauce than Salsa. Yeah. Let me just pour out. Let me just scoop some. I gotta scoop it. Mmm, let's just mix this up. It really does look It just looks like pasta sauce. Maybe this will be good. It'll trick our brain. <laughs> oh no. Is it that bad? Is it worse than drinking it? Worse than the chips? It's just confusing. I'm really picking up on the hints of celery. I mean, and so lettuce. Go on, take a nice healthy bite. It's pasta, but only because there's noodles in it. You know, I need more. I need more. I like a higher sauce proportion in my pasta anyway. It's kind of better. <laughs> it's a little better with more sauce, but it's still bad pasta. It's <laughs> still a bad pasta. I think we learned some interesting things trying to hack our way into low effort smoothies and low effort pasta sauce. <laughs> no! Is there there? No! I'm just gonna enjoy my smoothies for dinner. No, I don't need, I, I'm full of pasta. I don't need any more carbs. 